You are a true God and a true goddess. We hear that very often and it's so very much true. And today what I want to share with you is something that I have discovered myself um, by receiving guidance, by receiving messages uh, about that topic, how powerful we truly are. God and goddesses, um, as we know from many stories and um, from the Bible or from other sources that you rely on, they create. They are such powerful creators that they can create other worlds, uh, a universe, um, lives, trees, plants. This is what we refer to when we speak of God and Goddess. So when it comes to yourself, I want to explain something to make you aware how powerful you yourself you are. Um, and I want to give you an example for that. Um, yeah, I think I can share that. I can continue. I, I can start with the example that I um, myself I suffered multiple times in my life from major depressions and it always started with a feeling that I felt really bad about myself and um, from there it just went down um, the spiral until I get to a point where I felt really very much worthless and not even worth to live uh, on this planet and two years ago I was getting to a point um, where I didn't want to feel that way anymore but I my psychic abilities were evolving in a way that I could sense that something is like always sneaking up on me. Uh, it's like kind of coming towards me. It's kind of um, creeping into me. That was like the feeling I had. And I back then lived uh, on my own in a house and I had a lot of time to um, confront myself with that and so I truly I just I couldn't understand why if something like protection from the spiritual realm exists and something like um, consciousness or a divine power exists why would they not protect us from that why do they allow that terrible things happen to human kind or to humans individuals and i'm not talking only about my state of mind or my feeling i'm talking as well about truly very horrible things happening in the world and to people so i could not i could not understand that and i was asking what why is this happening why don't you protect and i was getting really mad and frustrated because i wanted somebody else to help us that those things would not happen to us so I went to a um, meditation and I kind of astral traveled. I could see like myself wandering up, 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 out of the house, out of the country, into the universe into the sky and I could see how some kind of you would say light being surrounded the earth um, energetic beings 
and I say beings because they had a certain form that I could recognize, like two arms, um, some sort of down body and a head, um, but very unfocused because they were shining in bright light and I could see them and I was, um, I was in communication with them. I was still in a very mad state, kind of. Uh, I wanted explanation. I wanted to know when you are here protecting us, like I could see they are the gatekeeper. This is like the word that came to me. They, they are like the gatekeeper. And I asked, if you are there, the gatekeeper, to prevent evil, why is it happening to us? And there were absolute stillness. I couldn't hear any answer back. But I saw them all of a sudden very clear how they are positioned. They weren't positioned like, let's say that is the earth, that's planet earth, and those are the light beings positioned around. They weren't positioned in a way to prevent that evil comes in, like as if you say, no, you don't come in. They were positioned in a way to keep the evil coming, getting out from the earth into the universe. So I repeat, they were not preventing that something comes in, as I thought, something comes and sneaks up on me. They were preventing that the things that are on earth, that are harmful, are getting out. That's a huge difference. And I got back into my body and I realized all of a sudden it's not that something is coming towards us. It's that we create that. We create the evil, the bad. You can label it as you want. The harmful, the painful. We, by thinking many times, unconsciously, that we are not good, that we don't deserve the best, that we have to do a lot in order to feel good, feel valid and worthy, to feel good and happy, all the harmful thinking about ourselves, how we feel about ourselves, is creating an energetic field outside of us and within us. And the more we think like that, the more we criticize ourselves, the more we judge ourselves, the more we harm ourselves of being harsh towards ourselves, the more of that is created. To realize that was eye-opening to me. I realized that those gatekeepers, those beings, were teaching me clearly. We try to tell you guys that you have such powers within you that you can create whatever you want whatever you feel whatever you think it's in your dna that that watch inside of you my apologies it was getting a little too hot so the phone had to switch off and cool down so but here i'm back again what those light beings wanted us to know is that what we think is 
created energetically outside of us. And what we feel is like creeping up on us or is... Sorry, my cat. I'm here. Come on here. Come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> she always wants to know where I am. <laughs> what we think about ourselves is creating an, an energy. It's... It's... A field that is created within you and it go, wanders outside of you as well what you think and what you believe and this is being a god or a goddess you have that potential in your DNA you have it and I could see it um, when I live with other people that they themselves were thinking about them very badly, criticizing themselves to a degree where it became very harmful for them. And I could see how they are surrounded by certain types of energetic creatures on certain locations, like on their neck or maybe on their hip or... Um, many other places. We create energetic field regarding of how we feel about ourselves. And when I realized that, that was like my wake up call to truly commit myself to self-love, um, to truly um, allow myself to say no to whatever kind of thought and feeling I have that makes me feel sad about myself, puts me in pain, um, makes me feel desperate or frustrated. And I took it to another level um, that I not only don't allow myself to talk to myself in such a harmful way, but not allowing outstanding people or situations to do that to me and everyone you meet in your life and this is meant non-judgmental everybody you meet every situation you have in your life is a reflection of what you feel and think about yourself if you meet people who harm you it's because you still have a part in you that is unhealed and it wants to be healed that is the purpose of many beings on this planet. We want to get to a place of love and compassion for ourselves and others. And if we are not there, we are automatically encountering people and situation that mirrors us in that aspect. So we can come become aware um, and put our attention and focus to that part of ourselves that wants to step into love. Um, and I think the way we were raised, I think the way the society works is a way that is very harmful. And we cannot get into a space and build a better place for all of us if we keep judging others, um, criticizing others, making others responsible for whatever is going on on a global, on a global level, but not even on a personal level. We are not only responsible, I actually don't like that word, but we are powerful to say no to whatever doesn't do good to ourselves, We can and we are allowed to say no to harmful situations and thoughts and feelings and put it into love and into compassion for ourselves. Even if we do bad things, even if we say bad things, even if we are harmful to ourselves, 
just step back and say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just snapped. <laughs> I am sorry to yourself. And it will create more love for yourself. It will create more loving energy around you. And you will encounter people that are more like that. And we deserve that. We all, all deserve that. What you feel about yourself is number one, created, creates an energy within you and outside. And number two, everything that you encounter is a reflection of yourself. The whole world is a mirror. If we want to see more love, we have to find it within ourselves. And the clue is to truly accept it, allow it in ourselves. Allow that love on every level. And I think my next video, although I like to stay like spontaneous, <laughs> I would like to explain how deep that love can flow in our everyday life so that we really can create a place that is soothing and healing to us and making us flourish and not demanding us to survive and battle and create beings and energies that are harmful for us. I don't want that. I want the good stuff. And I invite you to allow for yourself every day, the minute when you wake up, to allow yourself love on every level into yourself, into your life. You are very powerful. Never ever forget that. Decide very well what you want and allow it. I love you very much. And the birds love you too.